Hello, my name is Elwin Davis. I live in Pittsburgh, Kansas, and I grew up in Cameron, Missouri. Joined the Community of Christ, then RLDS Church, at the age of eight in 1950. I'd like to tell you today about a good friend of mine. He's been a friend for 73 years. His name is Terry Snap. He's well known to those who attend Stone Church in Independence since he and his wife Betty have been attending there for years and he was Stone Church pastor for around five years. I grew up in Cameron, Missouri, as I said, and Terry was from St. Joe. Our church congregations were in what was known as Far West Stake until mission centers became the organizational mode. Our parents always saw that we got to camp at Far West Stake reunions. It was at a reunion when we were four or five that we met. I was like many children. I could go to a church school class or reunion class, answer all the questions correctly about how we were to behave. But later while playing, I would often forget those lessons. One day at reunion, a fellow Cameron boy, Jack Parks, and I were playing in a sandbox. Jack was making houses out of sand, and I thought it was great fun to step on his sand houses. Now, you might find this hard to believe, but that began to annoy Jack. After a while, he went up to a boy I didn't know and asked him to beat me up. It turns out that boy was Terry Snap. with our fists up, bragging about how much karate we knew. We'd probably only heard the word karate and knew nothing about it. After a few minutes of our displays of manliness, Terry asked me if he could whisper something to me. He said, I don't really want to fight, do you? I didn't want to fight either, so we didn't. But we did team up in annoying Jack in the sandbox. Such was the depth of learning from our religious cl reunion classes. From that time on, Terry and I became good reunion friends. We looked forward to the summer after our high school graduation because then we could tent together without adult supervision. So our first foray into being responsible campers happened the summer of 1960. Terry Snap, Sam Keck, Gene Hubbard, and I tented together, and the tent was in my name, so I was responsible should anything go wrong. <laughs> go wrong, it did. Terry had an older brother, Lowell, who was in a tent next to ours. One night, just after lights went out, when everyone was to be quiet, Lowell thought it would be fun to play a practical joke on us. Just after the camp patrolman had passed our area, Lowell grabbed one of the uprights of our tent, began shaking it and yelling. Camp patrolman came running back and cautioned us about our behavior. We told him we didn't do it. No sooner had he left than Lowell repeated that performance. This time, the camp patrolman threatened that if we did it that again, he was going to take us to the stake president, John Blackstock. I was starting to get very worried then because... <laughs> You didn't want to be taken to John Blackstock at night for misbehavior. A third time, Lowell shook our tent and yelled. When the patrolman came back, Lowell tripped over a tent stake, attempting to get back into his own tent. So what did the patrolman do to Lowell? He only admonished him. He said, Lowell, you're old enough to know better than to do that. That's it. We were going to be turned into John Blackstock for discipline, but Lowell got by with that mild admonishment. Later, Terry and I roomed together at Graceland, our sophomore year in college. There were four of us in the room, and we had a great time that year. We have kept in touch over the years and decades, and Karen and I have been privileged to stay in the SNAP home when we've been delegates at the last several world conferences. Throughout all of these years and the things we've done together, one thing stands out about Terry. And that was evident from the first moment we met. 
He is uncomfortable with conflict and seeks ways to defuse situations. That's a characteristic I need to work on and is all too rare among people. It's great to have had a lifelong friend and fellow church member, although the first time we met, we weren't behaving quite like we should have. Okay. 